what do you think of my new motorcycle goggles? <laughs> Catch you inside. They're swimming goggles. They're swimming goggles. Welcome to Revelate Alpha. I hope you're all well in these testing times. So, yes, uh, swimming goggles as motorcycle goggles, yeah, not the best things, I must say. They do tend to steam up on the inside. We could hardly see coming in here. Anyway, no, I'm not seriously wearing swimming goggles uh, for motorcycle goggles, far from it. But I have been doing quite a bit of swimming of late and a lot of walking, yes, trying to lose some of my timber. Uh, but I've come across a little odd thing in the swimming world or the uh, social swimming world and that's biker politics. What's going on? You see, sometimes in the biker world what happens is that you'll get individuals who forget they were ever a novice and then they get better and better at riding and then they look down their noses at those who are just starting out. Now some actually get develop and they get better riders and they get to be faster riders, let's say, but they never forget where they come from or they never forget how they started out themselves. So they always have an appreciation of people coming up through the ranks, let's say. I don't want to use ranks, but you know what I mean. They're applying their trade, they're learning. Now this could apply to anything in life, whether you're an apprentice at your new job or whether you're a seasoned professional. The idea is that if you've got more experience, perhaps you should just be a little bit more sympathetic of those who are trying to learn their trade especially if they're showing willing an application right seems like the good thing to do so uh i'm not the best swimmer in the world far from it uh in fact you could say i'm a pretty awful swimmer uh i've never really been good at it but i can swim as in I can get from one end of the pool to the other just not very well so I started off in the slow lane so if you've ever done a track day uh, you're basically put into different groups like a novice then an intermediate and then a fast you see depending on how good at it you are how many sessions you've done before and it's exactly the same in the swimming world as it were uh, you just put yourself in whichever category you feel most confident so I knew that my fitness wasn't great so I put myself in the slow lane anyway, but also my swimming technique isn't that great. So in the slow lane, I could get better, get a little bit quicker, but work on my technique. You see, I'm the novice coming through again. Now, when you're all novices together, it's great. Okay, so you're just swimming along and it's all good. But then you start to get a little bit faster. Your fitness improves, your technique improves a little bit. So then you think, do you know what? I'll just step up to the next lane the middle lane let's say just a little bit faster and see how I go you see the parallels here you see what's happening always happens always happens so the other day I decided to actually go from the slow lane up into the middle lane and you know what it's quite a success I didn't hold up many people I uh, I stopped every now and again to let the faster swimmers overtake me all was well in the world then I went the next day and guess what? I encountered one of those people who forgot how they first learned when they were first slow as well. And it was almost like they were acting like a child. They were tutting, they were throwing their toys out the pram or whatever. And uh, you know, it's just making it uncomfortable for everybody. In fact, he almost got his lights punched out. Not by me, by a couple of old ladies who are just about to get in there. And they were saying, if you think it's too slow in here, just jump up to the really fast lanes. 
and that's what happens in the biker world as well or any uh, circle I'm sure you get certain personalities certain people who forget you know how they learned as well they get to a certain standard and they're better let's say than th this new group that they're part of but they're not good enough to go in the you know the really fast riders let's say or in this case fast swimmers so they're bitch and moan and they try and put everybody down in their little group but they haven't got the stones what the hell's going on here some kind of rally going on but anyway so you get these people who think they're too good for one particular group but they won't uh, go into the big boys and all the fast swimmers and uh, you know try their luck there so you know that happens quite a lot doesn't it now if you are a really fast pack of riders let's say whatever or you're really experienced in a certain way then obviously it might be a bit of a closed group for safety reasons as well there might be an issue let's say on track days you don't really want slow riders in the really fast group because there could be a safety issue as well so that aside i'm just talking about general attitude if somebody wants to come into your group yeah they might have to prove themselves so i get that but also there's got to be a certain kind of acceptance from other people there's also got to be a little bit of nurturing there as well you know just tutting around and just slating somebody else off because they're, they're a little bit slower than you or they haven't got the right bike or they haven't got the right way or the right technique of riding in motorcycle or swimming or crochet or whatever it is you know it's a bit it's a bit naff really do you know what i mean but anyway, so <laughs> lots of parallels with the swimming world. Uh, anyway, so it, uh, it seems to be paying dividends for me. Uh, I haven't got my lights punched out yet, that's for sure. Almost a couple of times. A few kicks in the face uh, by other swimmers, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, nothing, uh, nothing untoward as yet. I've almost lost two stone as well. Can't be bad. Lots of walking, lots of swimming, and less, less of that and less of that. That seems to be the recipe, I think. Anyway, let us know what you think about this. You know, lots of experience, no experience, and the attitudes of when those two parties intertwine. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, and check out the website, revelatealf.com. And I will catch you again on another video coming very soon. Check out the members area on the website and also on here, on YouTube. Right, ta-da, again, whatever. You know the school. Thank you.